Thanks for joining. Today's episode, we're going to install toe and camber arms in the back of the Time Attack Honda Civic. The reason for the change, currently I have these Blackworks Racing BWR, yeah, uh, joints or camber links. I've had these in since I built the car. I've had lots of problems with these urethane bushings popping off or apart out of this and it causes excess movement in the rear end. Uh, so overall just not really happy with, uh, not really happy with them. And obviously I'm at the point now where a spherical is king. So I was able to pick up these hard race uh, toe and camber arms from a local uh, that was parting his car out. Um, they've got one summer worth of use on them, uh, no winters, and they are like new. They've obviously got some paint chipped off and stuff from when alignments was, were done, but uh, other than that, they're like brand new basically. So uh, this will be a big upgrade currently for toe links. On the car, I've just got the factory ones with the rubber bushing factory, 250,000 pound rubber bushings in them. So that should help out quite a bit. I've also got some radius arm uh, sphericals to go on as well. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to include those on this episode or if we're just going to do these and we'll do the spherical ones on their own. But uh, that should be a great upgrade for the car. So I'm really looking forward to getting these on and see how the car feels. I'm hoping the back end feels a little bit more planted and a little bit more direct. So let's go ahead and get these on. I've got uh, obviously one arm out. So here I've got it out. Don't worry about that. That's just a repair from my roll cage. Um, when you weld roll cages in, they uh, burn through. So I cleaned it all up, re-seam sealed it and painted it. This is where the camber arm goes. Obviously got that. I got the strut out as well because as you saw in an earlier episode, I've got uh, Kony race shocks. So I'm putting those in. And down here I've got the toe link mostly removed. I'm going to unbolt the radius arm mounting point now and drop this out so I can do the toe link and the camber arm. And I think I'll probably do the uh, probably do this radius arm bushing as well. Currently the car has a uh, uh, energy radius arm bushing in. They are pretty solid. Uh, the problem is, is that they actually bind quite a bit, um, so they don't allow the suspension to move in its natural um, ellipsis, I guess you could say. It kind of moves in an odd, odd shape, so the energy bushing only allows it to go up and down, basically. So, I'll get that taken out, get these other ones put in, and we will see how it goes. Okay, word of warning for everybody, make sure you disconnect your brake line before you disconnect everything. It's kind of stupid of me. So that escalated a little bit further than uh, I was originally anticipating. I thought that I was going to be able to just uh, uh, allow the arm to flop down to knock uh, this uh, radius arm bushing out um, but uh, yeah it's it's in there I can't uh, <clears throat> I wasn't able to knock it out with a sledgehammer here so what I'm gonna do is let me get a better view of it actually what I did is I ended up the only thing that was still connecting it was the, uh, the brake line and the e-brake uh, the e-brake so I disconnected that pulled the whole arm out. I'll obviously be able to go through now and clean three years worth of track goop off of it. And uh, we'll get this compliance bushing pressed out. I'll take it to my parents' shop where I've got a press, like a little 10 ton press that'll press this out, no problem. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll come back. Uh, when I come back again, I'll have uh, this done. I'll have the this bushing pressed out. I'll have the uh, the spherical one uh, put in. Um, the spherical one that I'm doing just like the uh, uh, just like the camber and toe arms being used, the uh, radius arm bushings, the sphericals are used as well. So I'm just grabbing them here for you to see. And these are a lot rougher looking. Uh, 
These clearly spend about a year in a car. Um, but yeah, beggars, beggars can't be choosers, so here they are. I think these are uh, blocks or something like that. Uh, they're not crazy good quality. They're pretty like they're pretty rusty and weathered, but uh, there's no play in any of the the sphericals. So um, yeah, we'll put them in and see how they go. Um, I'm sure they'll be better better than the energy ones that I'm taking out. So I got some hardware for it as well here. So we'll press those in, put the bolts they actually bolt into the arm so I'll drill and bolt those in and when we come back I'll have that done and we'll go ahead and put this all back together all right, we'll see you, in, see you in a flash for you quick edit but for me I'll probably be a couple days so okay so we are about a week later because <laughs> life seems to get in the way but here we are so I was traveling for work last week, didn't really have a lot of time to get this done. Then I just slipped over to the shop where I have a press and was able to get the old radius arm bushings pressed out of here and get these ones pressed in. Um, there are these bolts that secure them into place as well. The kit I got was used, that's why it's scuffed up and not in the greatest shape, but uh, cheap. Racers can't be choosers, so that's what we got. Um, it didn't have hardware though, so I just picked up some of these uh, these uh, Allen head bolts. I don't know the exact term for them, but they fit in there. And then I got some washers and some nylocks for the backside. These are stainless steel as well, so I don't have any rusting issues. Hopefully, again, not that I drive this thing in foul weather or anything, but. Okay, so I'll get those tightened down. Those are in place now. As you can see, I've got the, uh, the hard race spherical tow links on. Uh, we'll get this lifted back up into the car. I've got the pins. So here's the pins that go through those. I painted them up because this was all rusty. And I'll probably put some grease on here just where the where that sits in here into the spherical just so it's a little Rear movement. There's quite a bit of slop in those, so these are probably going to be crazy noisy, but it's okay. It's a race car, so it doesn't matter to me. Anyways, I'll get these tightened up and we'll uh, get them into the car. We'll probably cut now to me putting them into the car. struggle getting the rear trailing arm up and supported while I uh, while I uh, connected the uh, trailing arm mount um, but it's in I haven't torqued it yet I need to get the toe link on and the camera link on but before I do that I want to get the, the strut back in uh, with the new Coney race valve shocked and shocks and 650 inch pound springs. So uh, I'm going to put the tow arm on now. Uh, we'll get that connected and then we'll get the rest of it uh, going here and uh, button this, this project up.
struts in. Jack it up and hook it up there. And then camera. On. Struts in. Camera. Go ahead and put this uh, spherical camera arm in next. Um, a couple things to be wary of these bolts here. They go into these captive nuts in the frame here. And uh, you want to make extra sure that you don't cross thread them. Uh, I've seen multiple people online and on YouTube uh, having issues with stripping these out. And uh, if you put them in and stir them by hand and torque them to the spec, you should never have a problem. I also put some anti-seize on them as well, just to prevent any issues. And I have anti-seize on the one that goes through here as well to prevent any uh, chance that this will corrode to the collar in the camber arm. So, go ahead and get this on here. I can't remember which side to start on. I think I usually start on the outside. I think I'm going to start the other way around. Start at the body. Because I can't get a good feel for how those are threading in. I'll go over and torque all those down a little bit later once I look up the specs. Get the rest of these tightened up and we're good to go. So what we've accomplished over the last uh, week or so working on this is we've got spherical camber arms, uh, hard race, spherical hard race uh, toe arms as well, and some no-name eBay um, radius arm sphericals as well. Uh, we've also installed the race valved Coney shocks. We've gone from 550 inch-pound springs in the back to 650 uh, to complement the front where I went from 800 to 1000. So we got that all put back together. Uh, so now everything that is spherical in the back here can get torqued to spec now without the weight of the car uh, on it. The lower control arm here uh, can't until the weight of the car is on because it's still urethane. Uh, everything, everything suspension wise on this car I'm getting used. Um, I'm just keeping my eyes open waiting for deals to come up and uh, picking them up as I see them. Um, I've, I think in the camber arms, toe arms, the spherical arm bushings here, I've got maybe, let's see, I think I've got about 300 bucks into them. Uh, so significantly cheaper than what it would have been buying new. These ones here new are like 289 US. Uh, plus whatever the camber and toe spherical arms are. So uh, if you're new to the channel, obviously this is a budget build. Everything that goes onto this car is pretty much used or built by myself uh, to try to save money, but still get on track and have lots of fun So and be competitive. So, so far so good. So what I'll do off camera is I'll get everything torqued here, get this all buttoned up. But uh, that finishes, let me turn this over here, adjust, there we go. So that uh, concludes tonight's episode. Thank you everybody for watching. Um, stay tuned, the next episode is going to be uh, front fender cutouts. Um, I've got some eBay brand fender cutouts. Uh, so we're going to put those on to clean up that front uh, front fender of the car a little bit better uh, than what it currently is. Uh, then where do we go from here? Then we're actually going to get back into motors. Um, 
I've got some big changes coming for the motor on this car. Um, yeah, it involves that K20, K24 that I've got like, I don't know, nine or ten episodes of building and cleaning up. And uh, yeah, so big changes there. Um, if you have made it to the end of this video, please like the video if you don't mind. It helps me out. And if you're not subscribed, uh, subscribe. It'd be great. Uh, if not, no problem. I uh, hope to see you back again. I hope you enjoy the content. Have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye.